YouTube! What the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage back in the Pergamon campaign in the Black Sea Colonies DLC. Um, hopefully y'all are getting excited for this. I know I am. This is uh, going to be a lot of fun with these new factions, both what they could bring in multiplayer and obviously here. And uh, it's going to be interesting just to see how they mix things up. And uh, we just beat back, of course, Sardes over here. Nice victory for us that we needed. And let's take a look here. A distant family member shows signs of greatness. Despite his age, it is said that the boy is a natural leader. Now yeah, let's try adopting him. See what happens. Yeah, so my faction is the... Uh... There's not much further down the line. Your party is at rock bottom. So apparently we need to gain influence. And that's fine. We'll see what we can do. We can actually already secure a promotion here for our guy. Might as well do that. So this would be interesting if we're supposed to actually gain influence over time. And we are gaining it by promoting this guy, but it also costs money now at this point, which I may have already spent some by accident. I don't need to spend any more on promotions at the moment. Ready for battle. Metrofan is. Let's see if that's him. Nope. So this guy is at Pergamon. I need to put him in command. And uh, see if we can gain even more influence, maybe. But in any case, uh, we're going to need to keep at work here. Uh, the Seleucid, or Cyprus, is not at war with us. Sardes does own another province over here at Iconium. But, fortunately for us, um, we can go get a Ephesus and then have at least a pretty friendly scenario here in this uh, particular province. Let's just see how bad the public order is. It's not so bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and leave and get marching towards uh, the remaining settlement over here at Ephesus for Sardes. One of the remaining settlements, they have more than one. And we'll see if we can uh, get in here and cause some trouble before they're able to fully recover. Alright, let's see, this general ranks up. Not surprisingly, he won a nice victory there. Let's go ahead and take care of business in this turn see what we're in for here no major moves against us Sardes headed back to their city oh well, we got another general that doesn't hurt don't know that it really matters all that much at this point might as well go ahead and See if we can give these guys a friendly poisoning. Nope. But they gained some experience. And this army is mostly retrained. And uh, this ought to be an easy capture for them. Gonna take a few casualties from it, but we'll be alright. Occupy. Alright, sweet. So we are now in control of Ephesus, and that gives us a little more money to work with. Not a lot. Our income is pretty low at the moment. And we can change that a little bit by, well, we get the most income from this uh, harbor. Which might be the best way to go because I'm not particularly interested in military ports just yet because I can't afford a fleet. So I think for now I'll go ahead with the harbor. We've already got a military building here. Um, let's just see if we can get, uh, what do you call it, a public forum going here. And then I have the money and the food to upgrade this town center, which would give me some more wealth. And uh, it's not a not a bad thing to do. So let's go ahead and get it started. And so yeah, we're pretty much stable now in this province. This one, not so much. We're going to need to... Oh, a shrine of Poseidon, sweet. We can get food and Hellenic influence. <laughs> I love those shrines to Poseidon, but let's see what's causing the disorder here. There is some lingering influence from other factions. Um, it may not be a bad idea to take this general and put him up here at Nicomedia to help slow that down. And... The Shrine to Poseidon is always tempting because it's going to give me the best benefits for like no losses. Let's try it and see if it's enough to calm things down. And that's all the money I have for this turn. Let's go ahead and end it. We are going to need to try and take out Iconium, which is the last settlement for Sardes. 
But at least we've got some kind of foothold here. I wouldn't say that we're in great shape, though, because our money is very limited. More trade partners would be good, and I may try and get that. Because if we could get some trade rolling, that would be big. And Rhodes is coming ashore because I have a defensive alliance with them, so shouldn't be seen as any type of move against me. Let's go ahead and build that ship right. Again, money very short at the moment, and we're losing public order in this province. Despite having a garrison, which has been quite a nuisance. Seems like the public order in my province has been woefully low. Is my faction... Does my faction go with Hellenic or Eastern? It's got to be Hellenic. Yeah, because it spreads Hellenic influence. Interesting, but Eastern influence is on the rise for some reason. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Can't say I completely understand that. There must be an enemy agent, or neutral agent, or just something. Spreading it. Not sure what it is. And... Will you agree Nassos to trade? wants a trade agreement. We have much. That would be amenable. Our joint enemies Rhodes would wants a military we alliance. Arise. Your strength, our wisdom, together would achieve great things. This doesn't seem like any type of bad plan here, so I'm going to go with that. Don't know how much it'll actually help me, but we will try and see. And we got a little bit of a reward there, which is nice, and we can start on our next mission. Let's take the spy. So do we have a way to get to Iconium without trespassing enemy territory? We could try to go through Cyprus's territory or Galatia. Let's see how either of them feel towards me. Uh, Galatia is not feeling so friendly. They've got a couple of provinces there. They're at war with Pontus. Let's check out Pontus here. Pontus is feeling relatively friendly towards me, all things considered. May Hermes bless us both with skillful tongues that Oops. we may speak our parts well. And Good so trade we trade agreement. Agree. Your words bring satisfaction to the god. And then let's see. Macedon is at war with a ton of people already. I wonder if they'll survive. What about Athens? Sparta. Let's see if we can get a trade agreement with Athens. Though Macedon is more powerful. I want to be careful about taking sides here. I'm going to be curious to see who wins. Um. The Odrysians are, of course, at war with Macedon, as is probably Tylus. Yep. I may hold off on trade agreements with those folks over there just to try and not stoke the hornet's nest, um, which very well could be what I end up doing if I get involved where I may not should be. All right, this amphitheatron and this other building plus the research I've done, surely we can turn around the uh, public order in this province finally. I'm going to move my spy that way. Let's go ahead and end this turn. Might see if we can strike up some kind of agreement with Cyprus here to try and move through their lands safely. And see if we can take out Sarda's last settlement, though at that point we should be starting to come face to face with Seleucids, but I mean it's almost kind of better to face them now, probably, than later, I one would think at least. I can no longer trade with Pontus, Galatia has knocked them out. And uh Galatia is probably none too friendly with me, but making more enemies at the moment is probably not good either. Look at this, even with my army here, still only plus one to public order. It's really quite maddening. Slaves, so interesting, having a problem with slaves. It's causing quite a bit of military error, quite a bit of instability, which is annoying. It's almost keeping me from being able to go anywhere. And if there's a slave revolt, it could be quite a pain to put down as well. See, this man was once a slave, but a slave driver is cruel and he is heartless. His lack of compassion and the regular beatings he gives make sure the slaves are rebellious. Uh, we'll try demoting him again. It's going to be interesting. 
Gosh, if we can just get the public order turned around there, that'd be fantastic. So that actually cut the public order issues because of slavery by just a little bit. And let's see, this doubles what comes out of that building at the cost of four food. That may not be a bad idea. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. I need the income. Okay, so a few troops left with Sardes, and if we can get the military access, we might be able to go knock them out. Though that would mean I need to be able to control my own provinces here, which I'm not having the best time with, and it looks like Pontus just got their butts handed to him by Galatia. Let's let's take a look at the um You are wise enough not to sit I Let's take a look at the diplomatic stance of a few things here on this next turn. Kinda get a feel for how things are here, so Content slaves, so minus 100% to slave unrest. Yay! <laughs> so that's going to turn the public order around quite a bit here. Plus, we just finished some research. That ought to be helping it as well. And unfortunately, none of the rest of these have any public order. Well, this one does, but that's 10 turns of research. Oh, this does add a lot of public order, though. And to be honest, I'm not sure what else is going to do me a whole lot of good. Got to get all the way to here to get a hoplite barracks. Which, having the military technology would be nice. Would be nice. And this allows me to recruit champions, so... I'm going to go ahead and go that way. We'll just see if by chance we can get these places stabilized. Nicomedia is still giving us trouble. And this will only give me more food and a little more wealth, but... Yeah, why not? Go ahead and get it started. Having more public order sure would be handy, but hopefully it'll turn around. Uh, the diplomacy of things. Let's see about Cyprus here. Cyprus is a satrapy of Egypt. Be so welcome. The only thing I can if do I can is offer them trade. Answer. I can't ask for military I must accept. access. Oh. But because they're a satrapy, perhaps we can ask for military access from Egypt? except we have not discovered Egypt. So I can't communicate with them. We would just end up having to trespass them. So let's see, Ankyra, Cappadocia, Samosata. So this would be a mess to get involved in that province. Though Galatia is growing fairly powerful and they're gonna be spreading uh, their own influence in this province as well. Not very well, though, yet. Interesting. Well, at least we got a trade agreement with Cyprus that'll make them feel better towards us. Let's go ahead and end this turn. We're bringing in a decent chunk of money, considering how few provinces I have, and I have a full-stack army. Or basically a full-stack army, though it's not particularly high-quality units. But that's to be understood, since it's early campaign. I don't want to just sit here and turtle around for too long and let other empires get strong, though, either. You have many fine goods. Be happy to trade with you. It looks like they're trying to cross through the woods right here, and I didn't know that that could be done. How may I serve you? Swift and silent. A shadow among no, It looks like you have to go around. For some reason, these guys are just in the woods. Not sure what they're hoping to accomplish there. Ready for battle. On the move. Wow, this province is actually stable. Barely. <laughs> Even with all the uh, public order bonuses and the research. Just barely stable. So, that's kind of irritating. We can recruit agents now, though. Or, uh, certain... Uh, no, I can't quite recruit a champion. I need one more turn until I can recruit a champion. Um, this noble woman, though, might be helpful. For punishment, civil administration. Eh, none of these really have... Well, actually, that could be helpful. Yep, yeah, let's recruit her. At your service. Okay. We can use her to help stabilize that province and let her gain influence. We may need her up here actually at Nicomedia even more than we need her down there. Because this province is slowly ticking away towards rebellion. 
I guess I could uh, change this temple over, but then I would lose a bunch of food as well. I think what we may have to risk is just expanding our armies a little and hitting Galatia as well. There is good in trade. To walk through Lots a of people are wanting trade agreements with me now, that's good. Wisdom should we can use that money to see if maybe we can build up an army real quick and blitz uh, Galatia as well. If we could take their territory, that would solidify us. It's just going to be difficult, I think, to de defend our borders if, if people were to get very serious in wanting to take us down. Which they very well might. Okay. And... Yeah, Galatia has got a stack of Levy Freeman and Slingers here with the Cappadocian Cav. Interesting. Let's keep an eye on what these clowns are up to. They're building a pretty big pike army here. And we may want to help keep them in check. There we go. Let's give them some good old-fashioned dysentery. The way that nature intended. Alright. Anybody have some training bonuses? That guy does. Uh, actually, let's recruit him at Pessimus. Perfect. Now he'll be right up there in front of my army. And we'll get that champion embedded into this stack. I may just... I may just trespass Galatia real quick. <laughs> Go through their lands to get to Iconium. Destroy that. And then head back to Ankara. So then I would own these two. Mazaka is right here. So then you can pop Mazaka down real quick too. Yeah, we could pretty much take control of this. Because Pontus seems to like us actually. So we could probably handle that. And I think Pontus would be spreading Hellenic influence as well be somewhat compatible. May not hurt to get a second army started, though I must say that our income is a little precarious. We may have to disband it if need be, but it wouldn't hurt to maybe go ahead and get another one started because we may very well need it. Our merchants Lots of people trading with me now, which is good. Getting all this trade income going, but it also means we have to be careful not to lose trade with those people or to tick them off and lose that trade. So we'll see how we can do here. At least consider a formal treaty. Uh, I don't know why I would need a treaty. And I don't want to get drawn into any wars with you. It's like the Rhodians. Not really sure what they want to do with their armies. See, like right there, we lost our trade agreement with Macedon. Because they're probably getting their butt handed to them by all the factions they're at war with. Let's keep doing some good old-fashioned poison provisions here. And then this army... We can start moving to get ready to cut through Galatian lands. Let's embed this agent. We're finally gaining some ground here in the public order battle, it looks like, in in the province of Asia. Uh, and we're actually, we've turned it around up here as well momentarily, which is great. I can't recruit troops up here, though, unfortunately. Though I can recruit them here. Some part of me wonders if I should just... Let's, let's do this. Let's take these March. troops. At your command. Come on. Let's merge these two armies. Move them all over. At once. Faster, damn you all. And then march back to Nicomedia. And then let's just raise a new army here where I have access to the recruits. So I think this will be better. I really don't like pikemen. But um, pikemen are good for fighting other pikemen. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just kind of like a necessity. But these Galatian swords should also be handy units too. And they're relatively cheap. So why don't we start off by just recruiting um, kind of a sword core to base my army, then I might get some hoplite support with slingers and some light cav, and that ought to be good as far as trying to maintain a fairly affordable uh, force I'm at the moment. Alright. Let's go ahead and end another turn, and hopefully I can get you all a nice big fight in here. I might go ahead 
As soon as I get a few troops recruited. Glory, wealth, uh, and the I don't know why I would need a non-aggression pact with you at the moment. Honorable enemies, we will be in war. I trust so my Cappadocia friend, is declaring war on me. Will fall into darkness and okay, despair. I guess. So it looks like war is going to find us <laughs> one way or the other. So we might as well honestly just go ahead and start punching away at Galatia. I'm trying to keep this Sardians in check here. They are recruiting a lot of troops. Don't know how they're affording it with this um, I do. basically it is done. single settlement here, but well I actually do know how they're affording it. It's because they get income bonuses, but you know what I mean. Let's see, where does reach a Gallic Slave whose skills as a goldsmith are fast becoming legend? Uh, let's free him. Alright. Don't know if that was the right decision or not, but we're probably soon going to find out. Let's go into no stance here. It looks like Nekomedia has calmed down quite a lot. Enough for us to probably get ready to venture forward. We probably need this agent more up here in this province than we do where we're at. Yeah, so we'll switch her over for a bit because this province is doing better than the other. Um, and it looks like we're going to have to fight Galatia and everybody kind of all at once here. This is going to get kind of wacky. Kind of wacky. Here we go. We'll get four hoplites. Um... Nike, I guess, is my agent here, and someone said that if we do zeal, we can get better at spreading propaganda. That's good. I'll open up authority and zeal, and we'll just kind of take a look at it. Okay. We have got a lot of wars on our hands, and it's going to be interesting. Just all this battle going on around me, and the lack of money. Fortunately, the trade partners should help us with the income piece. Okay, yep, sweet. Got some boost there. Let's go see what it is, the golden gall. <laughs> Local trade, what do we get? Plus 10 wealth from commerce. Hey, we'll take what we can get. Don't know how much of a difference it's really making, but we will take what we can get. We hunger for battle. Okay, this army's still in the process of training. It looks like the upkeep's not killing me too bad at the moment. Get some slingers. You can me, Just I gonna do. keep on sabotaging here. It's ranking my spy up and hopefully keeping these guys from wanting to take too much action. Don't know if it really does, but my spy is getting much better at poisoning. And then up here, we're gonna need to get ready to, again, probably just blitz. Um, Cappadocia has captured another province as well. So maybe we can just kind of bam, bam, bam here, and then bam, bam through here, and just knock out some of our enemies, and then hopefully we can turn some of our attention southward to the Seleucids. We'll see. wonder if Athens would be willing to trade with me at this point. Be welcome. If I can give you a fair answer. Nope. That's My okay. People are wealthy in intellect. Odrissian Kingdom. Let's see if they'll trade. Friend. We will speak nope. Your goods, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Your goods, well, no. <laughs> At least he keeps things simple. Alright. Uh, let's rank up this spy. That was good. I don't know why that made me laugh, but it sure did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least we got a champion in this army, and hopefully we can start putting some experienced chevrons down on our men. That's going to help a lot in the fights, getting our men ranked up to where they can more easily put down enemy armies. Because we could be coming up against quite a few tough and varied factions Together, here. Seleucids, right. Cappadocia, this Galatia, all of these are going to be capable factions. Okay. My army outside Pessinus, um, slowly gaining strength. I'm curious. I might have to leave for just one turn just to... Okay, the Galatians don't really have anything particularly threatening up here. So let's poison these provisions again down here. 
And this agent, I'm going to go ahead and use her to scout ahead to see, nope, on the next turn. Just make sure we're not walking into utter folly here. And then I think we're going to get ready and just go ahead and lash out uh, on the next turn. Unleash the, the wrath that is Pergamon, I guess. And the light horse, faster, a lot less armor. It's actually less upkeep for citizen cavalry. So that is what we will get. I'm going to go with cost effective at this point. Okay, let's go ahead and end this turn as well. So we'll be able to have two full stacks with a little bit of money left over, which is good. We're going to need the troops. And again, I don't know whether or not what I'm doing here is smart. I don't guess anybody's ever played a Pergamon campaign before. And so let me be your learning here. And you'll find out whether or not this is the right way to start your Pergamon campaign. I don't really know what else you're going to do, though, because you're going to have to gain territory because you don't have any money uh, to start with. Go with cavalry training. Okay. Scouting ahead. It is just about time to betray Galatia. And I'm actually going to just go ahead and trespass and then attack them on the next turn. Let's use the spy to keep, uh, keep causing trouble here. Crap. I They're getting this army filled out here, and that's not good. I'm two turns away from having this army ready, so the timing will work out good. This agent has already ranked up again. This is good. I'm gonna open up warfare. It is one turn per turn campaign. Or one year per turn. Sorry, one turn per turn. Well, that makes sense. One turn per turn. <laughs> it's one year per turn, because I'm not using any mods. Uh, so that means my agents and generals won't live as long, so I hate sitting around for this many turns because every time my guys are getting a year older. Blackmail. Dadgummit. Use my money to counter rumor. Actually, you know what? I don't care. Just blackmail me. See if I give a crap. Okay, we're going to build a public forum. That'll help stabilize this place a little. And we are totally going to attack the Galatians. And Rhodes is going to join me. And they're predicting poor odds for my army to accomplish this battle. So let's go prove them wrong. And this will be a nice ending to the episode. I don't know why they're predicting poor odds for me. Oh good. I should be able to come from several angles on this map. I don't really see the Galatians doing that well in this battle. I mean the map will restrict my cavalry movement a little bit. But again I just don't see how this is really going to be of any benefit to the Galatians. You might be able to hear a little air in the background there too. Um, so let's see. Uh, start deployment. Looks like good conditions. Uh, let's take the swordsmen. Bring a couple from here. Let's put two swordsmen out here. And... Let's see here, we're gonna get... Let's use our slingers to just back up our pikes, and I'll bring my pikes up this main main thoroughfare here. Leave my general here to help support them. And then let's take these militia hoplites. We'll bring them from this side. And... Let's get... Citizen cab over here. Okay, let's just kinda get things going here. Move these guys up. Move up. Okay, the Galatians main force there is probably going to back up back to the capture point. No real easy way for me to get to these guys. Galatian swords. So they match me there. They've got some Celtic skirmishers. Celtic slingers. I don't think I'm particularly worried about any other threats, to be honest feeling quite capable here. <laughs> yeah, Little Air just finished his bath, so he was probably making some pretty happy noises back there, though. Honestly, I'm surprised that he didn't start screaming, um, because it seems like when he gets out of the bath, he's not very happy that you took him out. He really likes being in it. So, anyway, I guess tonight was a, was a new experience for him. It's pretty awesome seeing your own kid. It's kind of an interesting feeling. I know a lot of you are probably too young to even be considering such a thing, which is fine. There's a time and a place for such a deal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it really is a pretty interesting feeling. Okay. 
Let's see if we can go over here and chase back these Celtic skirmishers. Go ahead and run these guys clean up. Now, if I attack over here, am I going to get pelted by Celtic skirmishers? I don't think so. So we can probably go ahead and bring in a sword attack from this side. And let's bring these Cav down here. Let's start coming across the beach. And I think we are going to catch these Celtic skirmishers. Yeah. <laughs> The AI did not skirmish so well with these skirmishers, so my citizen cab are probably going to destroy them here. Um, my slingers are opening fire probably on these Galatian spears. I'm going to change targets to their own Celtic slingers. And I'm going to just kind of begin a slow march forward with these pikes and try and come into range. Take those guys off. Okay, we're going to have to flee this way. Got incoming reinforcements, but this uh, citizen cab did quite well. I'm going to go ahead and go into hoplite wall so I can be braced in case I get charged by this sword infantry that's incoming. And it looks like the AI is going to leave its skirmishers open over here. We've got a fight started over here, but we should be able to do okay. I did not get any charges, unfortunately. Okay, my pikemen have engaged the enemy. And I've destroyed one of their slinger units. Yeah, and these guys are now going to be doomed as well. Let's just bring these slingers over here to support. Because their slingers are being chased into my pikes by my cavalry. So now I'm also going to get a rear charge here. Which should route their men relatively quick. And then allow my gen general to make his way into the battlefield. Just got hoplite wall going on over here. Let's bring this um, citizen cavalry. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is going to be terrible for the Galatians. Our general is under attack. Not what he wanted. My swordsmen over here, though, are not having the easiest time. Uh, we might actually want to bring my general over here for support. Because this area is very much under control. I need to route the remainder of these troops real quick. Looks like those spearmen were going to reinforce, but they're not. Let's bring this other cav unit through. Let's see if we can get around behind these Galatian swords. Who are not doing all that well, actually, against my militia hoplites. They are in a... Uh, Hoplite wall, though, so that's understandable. Uh, let's just see if we can bring these slingers up. Don't fire at will just yet. Bring our citizen cab over here. Start marching our pikes forward. Okay, let's take the citizen cab back over here now. I need my slingers in a position to be useful, but I don't really see that position just yet. Just do my best to support my swordsmen over here. Okay, we can now rush up over here. And we can rear charge these Galatian swords. Let's kind of go down. Oh, that's a pretty sweet view with the sun there in the background. These Galatian swords just getting absolutely hammered by my citizen cab. So the Galatians uh, not doing so well in this particular battle. They're, they're holding out just fine over here. But my Galatian swords are actually doing a pretty bang up job. And we are about to surround them with pikemen. I'm going to go ahead and get out of formation attack. Hopefully these Galatian swords can hang on just a little while longer. Oh, these Galatian swords have come back from routing. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to move my general away because my, my swordsmen there are somewhat lacking in, in uh, terms of morale. My pikemen are now on station, though. And I'm going to be able to push into the back of this blob, and all these troops are free. Let's take one of them and destroy those Celtic skirmishers. There we go. Move those guys up. See if we can shoot down these Galatian swords real quick. The point-blank volley. Come on, you can do it. Shoot, men! Uh, that was pretty disappointing. But, uh... We'll just flee away and then take care of them. Okay, the pikemen are now trying to push in. They've broken free. I do have a sword unit wavering, but I've also now got pikes behind these guys and citizen cab as well. Let's bring two this way, two this way. And we should be able to lure off this Galatian swordsman. Let's go ahead and charge in here and support our men. Excellent. 
Bring my general in for a quick charge, see if we can get some kills on the charge, and we most certainly did against those weak spearmen. Actually got a lot of kills on the charge. Let's pull him out and cycle it. What is this, uh, Galatian Nobleman? Wow, that's a tough unit in the mix there, that Galatian Nobleman. I'm gonna bring another charge in with my general. All of my Galatian sword units still holding. And let's see if we can get some more kills on this charge. Bring the slingers around. Okay, pull my general out and cycle in another charge here. Take these guys out of formation attack. Just bring some extra pressure in here with their infantry. Pikemen are actually doing fairly good here. And now there's a general waiver with all the Galatian. I can see with this Galatian nobleman maybe why they were favoring the enemy a little bit here. All right. And I don't believe there's any reason for me to run these guys down as they're in a city. But nice battle there. Uh, AI tried. Tried to give me a decent fight. Uh, actually managed to catch, wow, 225 kills on those pikes. That's fantastic. All these units perform very well. Militia hoplites, to be honest, are not great units, but in an early campaign, they're fairly tanky when you compare them to, say, like, Eastern Spearmen that another faction gets or something like that. Maybe quite not quite up to snuff with something like Hastati in terms of bang for your buck, but then the Hastati really have no bracing or anything else like that. So, I mean, in some ways, the Militia hoplite can be a very handy early campaign unit. I guess these these guys will get away the reinforcing army, but it wasn't much. So they all they all had some terribly heavy losses. And that is gonna screw up the public order pretty good. But we will just tear down some of these other structures. Um, convert that one. And to be honest, we need a barracks in this um, province so that we can do some training. So things are looking good here actually. Managed to capture another province. We do have a lot of wars going on, but we have a second army on the way. And I think that uh, a lot of good stuff happening here for the... Uh, uh, for the Pergamines, I guess. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, let's see, so we're going to have four citizen cab. That's plenty. Might throw another hoplite in here just to have another good, solid, heavy infantry. And it looks like money is okay for now, too. So, nice progress. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.